Man, that was beautiful. Don't even worry about it, Geiger counter. I have a red suit. Welcome back everybody to Subnautica. I'm IGP and today we're going to be doing what I talked about doing a lot recently and that is starting up a full let's play of the game. Now we haven't done that for quite some time. We've been doing a lot of showcase videos and one-off thematic type episodes for Subnautica and those are fun to do but they've become rather infrequent just because the updates aren't all that huge all the time and you know I can't do like a 20 minute video for every little thing that comes out and honestly I just want to play the game. And don't get me wrong, early access is a great thing, especially when you have an amazing development team like Unknown Worlds. I love having access to all these little tiny updates that are added every single day, but it kind of desensitizes me to the game itself. The game is very immersive and I want to continue to experience it like that before everything becomes wireframes for me. Anyway, I've been rambling too much, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. If you guys are as excited as I am to start up this let's play, comment down below and leave a like. Let's set a like goal. 3,000 likes and I'll know that you guys want me to continue this series. So let's get started. Alright, so we're going to do survival. Hardcore is too hardcore, as it's described. I don't want to die. I'm, in, I'm still in experimental mode. I don't want to end up dying by some weird glitch and then have to start all over. So we're just going to do normal survival as most people would do. Now the intro is going to pop up. I know you guys have seen it before, but let's enjoy it anyway. Uh-huh. The last thing that I would imagine to knock this person out would be the plate. A plate, right? I imagine just just the, the constant turning and flipping and, and bashing would shove my body around this pod. Or at least my head on the back of the seats. That's a fire. That is definitely a fire. Uh, I'm gonna have to grab this extinguisher and, you know, extinguish it. I actually don't remember doing this, to be honest with you. Oh, here we go. Ah, the good old PDA. Let's wipe the screen clean. New form of tablet here. Greetings, survivor. Great job not dying. Thanks. To assist you in further survival in emergency situations, you have been issued this personal data assistant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little do you know, I've had a previous life in the same situation. Ooh, data downloads? Operation logs. Oh, okay. Uh, so just describing all the life pods and stuff. All right, guys. So welcome back to the game. 46% for food. We lost some- we actually- our- our counters, our percentages actually started going down since we, uh, we left the Aurora. Which makes sense, I guess. Ah, the beautiful world of Shubnautica. So let's go ahead and create that save file. I'm gonna go ahead and save- oh my goodness, is that a quit to main menu button? How long has this feature not been in there? It's always been a pain, especially in my own ass, to have to always quit to the desktop. Not cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh my goodness. I can't even- I can't even tell you how long it's been since I've dove into these waters and began my search for quartz and, uh, copper. It's always a fun experience. It's like the starter pack. The Subnautica starter pack. Let's grab all the quartz around the life pod and find as many copper in the limestone outcrops as possible. Ah, cool. Lead. That's- oh yeah! There, okay, so recipes have changed, and first things first, I need to get myself a weapon to protect myself with. So the survival knife is a must, and I know the recipes change all the time, so I gotta go back and take a look at what it is. Titanium and silicone rubber, so I know silicone rubber is different. Creep vine seed cluster. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage. Thanks so much. You know what we should do? We should start naming everything. Because you know that whole idea that if you name something, it becomes immediately more important to you? Like you already develop a connection because it has a name? I think that's going to be an important thing. So right now, the lady talking to me, her name is going to be Susie Q. Don't ask me why. Uh, I think I watched a show recently that had that name in it and just popped up in the mind. Anyway, oh yeah, we got uh, a storage container over here with uh, nutrient blocks, water. Yeah, let's take all this. 
because we need it right now. So we need creep vine seed clusters now for the silicone rubber, which used to be two quarts. Now it's that. And I think we only need one and a titanium, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and find uh, the forest. Oh, right here. Perfect. You know, I wonder if this works. Oh my goodness, it does. <laughs> you all know exactly what I was thinking of. Good old Wally, right? I got food for a little bit, so I think I'll be okay. Um, okay, I can't. Ooh, lubricant unlocked. Current generator. Very good. I'll take a few of these and store them for now. Oh, shit. Oh, hello. <laughs> Volcano right next to the pod. That's always good. Ooh, my oxygen's going down. I'm gonna need a tank, like, soon. Yes, thank you, Susie Q. Okay, I am to the surface. What are you doing? What are you- what are you doing? What- you're in my way, guys? All right, get- 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 get to hell. I'll get to the surface. Look. Oh, good. God, got to the surface, right? Jeez. All right, cool. Let's take a look. We got, uh, did we actually get titanium? I don't think so, but we'll make the, uh, silicone rubber for now. And we're gonna need some, uh, room, so let's put the, uh, creep vine seed clusters there. And the acid mushrooms can go in there, too. So let's go ahead and put the, uh, creep vine seed clusters in there. And, uh, acid mushrooms can go in there, too, because we need more room. And you go find some titanium, either by scrap metal, which should be everywhere, right underneath me. Ooh! I need a scanner, too. Oh man. The game has changed completely in a sense of, like, starting fresh. Because now you need a, a different set of items to start out with to be able to survive. You need to make the scanner now. The scanner is one of the most important items you can get in the game now. Anyway, so let's go ahead and make the knife first. We got four titanium. And we can go ahead and see what the scanner's gonna take. Uh, two titanium and a battery. Okay, so I just need a copper. I just need one copper, and I'll be able to make the scanner and start getting some better stuff. Alright, protecting myself. Actually, I can't stand that not being, uh, on slot one. There we go. Slot one, slot two is always my sea glide. That's just how it is. Ooh, salt deposits would be a good idea. And I can grab some food. Now, I can't eat you guys, can I? I can't recall. I don't want to kill you. No, I'm just kidding. I want to kill you so hard. Come here. Okay, he's not gonna die. I'm not wasting my time. Oh, shit. You guys can probably hear the sounds through my headphones. Like, into the mic. <laughs> oh, shit! Oxygen. Thank you, Susie Q. Whatever what I do without you. Man, we can make that rhyme hardcore. Oh, hello. Ugh. Oh, good old, good old experimental mode. That shouldn't be there. Aha! Copper. Perfect. Just the one. I think I have two. I think it's one and two acid mushrooms. Sweet. Okay, so now I know I told you guys it was gonna be like an uncut series, but what I mean by that is it's not gonna be thematic every episode. I'm not gonna- I mean, I could dedicate something to an episode, but in a sense, I- obviously I'll cut out parts where you don't need to watch or where I'm silent and stuff. Um, what I meant by uncut is just like a straight up thorough let's play like I would any other game. Just as a post disclaimer, you know, in case any of you were wondering. Aw, oh, Suzy Q, you're so informative! Oh yeah, health kits! Ah, so helpful, man. Was my- was my health always at 80%? I don't remember losing anything. Oh, it must have been from the crash. Duh. Okay, Susie. Susie. Q, Q- Susie Q. Let's- let's- let's cut it down a little bit. You're talking way too much. I know the Aurora's gonna explode, okay? Again, little do you know, I've experienced this in a past life. Let's make this battery. And then I can make the scanner. Real quick. Sweet! Now there was a- there was a- 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 a fa- a- 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 Underneath me. Uh, ba -dee, ba -dee, ba -dee, ba -dee, ba -dee. So I'm gonna go scan it real quick. I need to make a tank and then preferably a sea glide. Hopefully this is a sea glide fragment. Solar panel, okay. Now the sea glide fragments, if I'm not mistaken, they were in a wreck over towards the Aurora, which I don't feel like going to yet. I am gonna need a radiation suit too, so that's something I probably should focus on. Guys, there's a lot of things I need to get. All right, so what do I need for the radiation suit? So two lead and two fiber mesh. I think fiber mesh is made from the... Creep vine samples, which I have to go cut manually. I haven't unlocked it yet, so that's probably what it is. Let me go back. It was actually rather close, yeah. I'll cut these, and then I need to go find another lead, which is gonna be in the outcrops. Not too hard. We can actually have this suit rather quickly. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and scan it, since we can do that. Let's scan everything that we can possibly scan, because I want to get everything in my encyclopedia. I'll take another two mushrooms in case I find copper, because I'm gonna need to stock up on some batteries soon. Cut creep vine with knife. Uh-oh, we got a bleeder! We got a bleeder! Don't do it! Yeah, fiber mesh unlocked. Come on, I'm just grabbing some samples, samples, samples. Okay, inventory full! Oh, I'm gonna die! <laughs> no! No! Swim faster without- without, uh, without the knife. I don't know why I'm so worried about dying, I mean, I already know what happens when I do. Man, it's dark! It is freaking dark! Good luck seeing this, guys. It's so freaking dark, I'm sorry. I play a lot of dark games, like, 
you know, the long, dark, subnautica, the forest, all these different ones where people are like, man, I can't see anything on a screen. It's pitch black. Sorry about that. There's nothing I can really do. Fiber mesh. Let me do two of these. And we just need to find one more lead, which shouldn't be too hard. I'll, I'll keep the creep vine samples in here. We got a lot of good stuff. Um, let's go ahead and try to find some more outcrops. Lead isn't too uncommon, but I, I am very glad that it's uh, uh, still within this vicinity. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and eat a nutrient block and then drink some water. Good enough for me. Man, can we make nutrient blocks? I don't think so yet. I, I, I hope that's gonna be a thing in the future. Then again, you know, fish farming is much easier. Oh god, gasopods, hello. You guys sound different. Or is it just me? Nope, you sound fine. Ooh, Rex. This is always good. Do I have stuff I can scan in here? Oh, I'm gonna die. Man, I should really get on that tank. I just want to have the radiation suit before uh, the explosion. <laughs> 45 seconds of oxygen. Seriously? With an oxygen tank? That's my O2 tank, right? Or is that just me holding my breath? Ooh, copper. Sweet. Uh, because I'm pretty sure I can hold my breath longer than that. Then again, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a skilled man. I have uh, many talents. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Me. Did I get you? I don't, did I get him? I don't think I did. I think his hand reached out like he was gonna grab him, but uh, he didn't quite make it. These guys are much easier to catch with a sea glide. Is that a fragment? This might be a fragment, guys. Hold on a second. That is a fragment. Let's, let's see what this is. Sea glide fragment. Woo! How many do we need for this? Only two? Solar panel as well? Oh, man, I'm getting lucked out. Thank you, experimental mode. Sea glide fragments. <laughs> Come on. Really? I'm getting, uh, how do I, okay, there's a sea glide right there. I'm gonna scan. Okay, now it's just giving me a bunch of titanium. Sea glide. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, so this must have been from a wreck. Now, that's not cheating, guys. That's not cheating. I don't consider that cheating, okay? Susie Q, shut up! So anything that happens like that, I don't consider it cheating, okay? <laughs> I didn't make those appear. Those were just there by the experimental glitch. It's part of the game. No one says I can't play survival and experimental and still be legit. Now I have the sea glide unlocked and the solar panel, so booyah, in your face. First episode. Suck it. Titanium. Okay, yeah, I'm dying. I get it. Although I still haven't found this lead. If I can actually build a radiation suit before the explosion, that would be a first as well. I don't think I've ever done that. They've made it a little bit easier to make. Copper. Sweet. So I'll pick up two more of these. Do I have too much? Nope. Yeah, I don't have the tanks and sea glides taking up all my space now, so it's actually kind of nice to have all the free inventory space. Now there was a giant coral, yeah, it's over here, that has all the limestone outcrops on top, yeah. So hopefully I'll find a lead over here somewhere. Come on guys, I need to make this before that damn explosion that I know is gonna happen for some reason. Maybe I'm part of the whole, part of the whole conspiracy. Copper, okay, that's fine. I'll have, I'll have a bunch of batteries, that's fine with me. Aha, lead, sweet. Well, now we can make the sea glide, so if we can get this all done in the first episode, that's amazing. That's progress if I've ever- I- shh, I know what you're thinking and saying. Stop it. It's not my fault. It is not my fault. Come here, new air sack. Ooh, new creature. I should scan you. Let me scan the peeper. Come here, Mr. Peeps. I actually don't like that. That's like a common phrase for people talking about their kids, you know, private parts. Yay! I can't get the boomerang. I don't have time for this. There's gonna be a giant explosion, and I'm gonna be prepared for it, okay? I do like how, with the food now, you can cook it without having salt. Salt actually cures it. That makes more sense. You actually had to have salt in order to actually cook it, which kind of sucked because that does you know, why? We have advanced technologies. We should be- I mean, obviously, to an extent, but we should have the technology to be able to cook in a fabricator, okay? It's like a little mini microwave. Or you can even have the microwave. Why not? Just chuck it in there and nuke it. Let's go ahead and make the suit. Radiation suit. Bam, son. And we get flippers. Or do we get flippers? No, we do not get flippers. I can make flippers myself. I think I have to have uh, silicone rubber for that. Oh, here we go. Big events. But guess what, bitches? I'm ready for it. Oh, Susie Q. Do your countdown, Susie. Critical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four. I like how the Aurora looks like it's shaking. It's terrified for this. Oh man. I love the chromatic ar aberration aberration. Man, that was beautiful. Don't even worry about it, Geiger counter. I have a red suit. 
Oh yeah, let's not forget about Billy the Plune. <laughs> that debate will never end, and I think that's hilarious. Anyway, okay, so you're on fire. I'm good now. Let's take a look at what is required for the uh, Sea Glide, which is here. Battery, which I have. Lubricants, which I can make, I think, with the clusters, right? I'll take two of these and see. No, we need three for that. That's really perfect. That's really perfect. Lubricants, which will allow us to build it, I think. Yep, and a copper wire, which I'm pretty sure I can actually make. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys. Come at me. I've only been playing for like 20 minutes, and uh, I have all this stuff now. So let's go ahead and build it real quick. The Sea Glide. How many batteries do I have? How many batteries? I thought I had one. Oh, that's because I used... Okay. I can make one more battery, so that's good. Oh, yeah, man. God, this is awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and cook some fish up. Let's cure them, so that way we have some cured food around. Actually, I'll make you into water. That's probably a good idea. And we are pretty much solid. Uh, I got the health pack. Fire extinguisher I can probably put away. I don't really need that. Um, all this titanium, too. I don't need this right now. I do need to make some flippers, so let's go get another set of, uh, creep vine stuff. Conveniently placed right here. Man, we are super productive. Oh, let me scan this real quick. Let me go ahead and scan the creep vine. Oh, yeah. We'll read this stuff later. Oh. Reef back. Whoa, sand shark. That was close. I hear a reef back. You know, people always ask me, why are you scared of the reef backs, IGP? Why? Why? And I'll tell you why. They're big, and they sound scary. I honestly don't- I honestly don't know how many I need, but I'm just gonna grab four. Wow, 90%, 89%, 88. Wow, this goes down fast, guys. We need that battery charging station, which I'm gonna have to find, uh, the blueprints for. Oh, this is gonna be hard, man. So I guess, yeah, next episode will be our exploring episode, because we're gonna need to unlock a lot of stuff. A lot. So silicone rubber, yeah, perfect. So we can get two of those. That's nice. What is that? Bleach? Salt deposit and common coral sample. Why is that green thing, green button? Oh, okay, never mind. I see what it is. I'm dumb. All right, cool. Flippers should auto-equip. Yes. Now let's make a tank. We're going to need a tank, uh, which is titanium and glass. I think I can make glass. Yep. Let's make two, one tank. I don't know if it adds more if I have it in my regular inventory. They flip-flopped between having it as a side item and having it in your inventory counts. Okay, so we got 75. Let me see if I can bring in the other quartz. Make another glass, bring in some titanium, and then see if- see if this will make a difference. If not, then I just wasted a whole bunch of, uh, resources for nothing. Oh, it adds. Okay, so it does add. I do like the spare. That's kind of nice. I'll have a spare. I'll upgrade both of these, and I'll keep them there. So now we have 105 oxygen. Not bad at all. Let me go ahead and put away the, uh, fiber mesh, because I don't know if I need that right now. Salt deposit might be important later, but put this stuff away. Filtered water's fine. I don't need the flares right now. Uh, or the salt deposit. Okay, that's a good- that's a good setup right there. So I want to make sure my suit is as prepared as possible. Um, until I fix the radiation, obviously I can't take the radiation helmet off. I'm gonna have to do that eventually. Uh, but a rebreather will be important. Thermometer, uh, compass, things like that. But again, I'm gonna have to find a lot of blueprints for stuff. The sea moth, I'm gonna need blueprints for the battery charging stations, which is gonna be super important considering the, uh, sea glide is gonna be my number one traveler right now, because of exploring. So, in order to go to the Aurora, we're gonna need, uh, also the welder. So, I'm gonna hold off on the Aurora for a little bit. We're gonna go exploring and find some other cool stuff. Hopefully, we can build a makeshift base to have another fabricator, a workbench eventually. But again, all this requires blueprints. So, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the first episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed playing this game just for the sake of playing it. It's a really, really in-depth and immersive game. If you guys haven't already bought Subnautica, I highly recommend you do. It's a great experience. You will get tons of hours of gameplay and more to come once the game is finished and then continually updated from there. Anyway, again, if you have any suggestions on what I should do if I made a mistake, let me know in the comment section below. Also, again, 3,000 likes will let me know that you guys want to see more. I know that's a high goal, but let's do it. I know you guys can do it. I know you can. So thanks again for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.